This video is brought to you by Rhino Shield. I've been using the Apple Watch Series 7 every day over the past year. And today I wanna to talk about my experience sharing everything from the good as well as the bad. I am very happy with this watch overall, but there are some key things that you should know before buying. With the Apple Watch Series 8 just around the corner, the Apple Watch Series 7 may be a good place to save some cash and still get a great watch. As always, I will leave all the purchase links down in the description. All right, so to start, let me tell you about my spec and why I chose it. Now, the Series 7 comes in two screen sizes. There's the 41 millimeter version as well as the 45 millimeter version. Now, I opted to go for the 41 millimeter version as I found it to look more proportionate on my wrists, looking more like a watch uh, rather than a gadget or a computer. And then secondly, I chose to go for the midnight color. Uh, I think this looks really great, looking almost black in most lights but then in the sun you see those midnight hues come out uh, and I also think this is a great color uh, to pair with any kind of occasion whether it be more formal or casual as well as a broad range of band combos. I get a lot of questions about whether to go for the cellular model. Now I opted to go for the GPS only version and I think this will be the uh, best option for most people as it saves some money and also doesn't mean you have to pay an additional monthly cost. I would say only consider the cellular model if you ever leave the home without your phone. I personally never do this, so for me, the GPS version is just fine, as this can still take and receive calls, as well as answer messages. By the way, if you are enjoying this video so far, a sub to the channel would be incredible. So after wearing the Series 7 for a whole year straight, uh, every day, what has the durability been like, and how has the watch held up? Well, overall, on the surface, the watch still looks great. The aluminum watch case has no scratches or dents, and there's also no fading of the color from sweat or rubbing on the wrist. The digital crown and the uh, side bun are still super smooth and clicky. Compared to my Series 3, which actually did have the digital crown get stuck from time to time, uh, either from sand or dust getting stuck in between the gears. But thankfully, this never occurred on my Series 7. And then when it comes to the watch bands, uh, I think this is one of the great features of the Apple Watch is the ability to change them out so easily. And I like to do this regularly. I use fine leather bands for certain occasions, uh, the sports band for others. Uh, and recently I've been using this braided solo loop for extra comfort. Now from switching out the bands regularly, uh, the band mechanism has held up really well, still sliding smoothly uh, and securely locking onto the bands. Now if I take a really close look inside the uh, band mechanism, I can see just a little bit of um, marks on the inside where you can see a little bit of the paint chip off, but this is something you won't notice as this will be covered by the band and is very minor. So this all sounds really good, and it is. But here comes the bad. Turning to the front of the watch, we have this stunning 41 millimeter display, uh, which still looks just as great one year later. But I take issue with the glass covering that display. Apple described this as being a crack resistant front crystal. Now my display hasn't cracked, but it sure has scratched. Under normal light, and especially if I take my phone light and hold it up to the display, you can see many micro scratches all over the screen, some deeper than others. Now, does this affect functionality? No, but these watches are expensive. And one of the great things about Apple is that they support their products for many years, and the Apple Watch is no exception. But if after just one year of use, my display already looks like this, how's it gonna look three or four years down the road? Is this a deal breaker? I would say no, but it is disappointing, especially because my previous Apple Watch Series 3, which I actually wore for more than a year, had practically no scratches. While I love using my Apple Watch Series 7, you can see that durability is not its biggest strength, and this is where Rhino Shield comes in, providing customizable, high-quality, eco-friendly protection. I've got the Crash Guard NX on my Series 7, uh, which has this nice raised edge going around the display, thus protecting it from scratches and impacts. I wish I had this sooner. Now to pair with this, uh, I also have the complementing Mod NX case for my iPhone 13, which as you can see, perfectly matches the color. Both are highly customizable, with literally hundreds of combinations to choose from online to best match your style. The coolest accessory, I think, is the new Grip Mini and the Grip Max. These days, phones are only getting bigger, uh, and a great way to protect your investment is by adding a grip. 
First, the Grip Mini and Grip Max adhesive version use adhesive to mount to your case. You can then quickly extend the grip to comfortably rest your fingers. Trust me, this phone is going nowhere. And then you've also got the Grip Max MagSafe version. And I love this because it just magnetically attaches, uh, super easy to remove and add, and also has double the magnetic strength compared to Apple standard MagSafe magnets. The grips also allow you to stand your phone upright, vertically and horizontally on a desk, for example, which makes watching videos much more convenient. Both grips offer a range of over 200 custom designs to choose from and are made from 85% recycled materials. To learn more about the Grip Mini and the Grip Max, as well as Rhino Shield's other cases and accessories, be sure to click the links in the description and use code DION for 20% off your first week and 10% off after that. Thank you so much to Rhino Shield for supporting the channel. Now back to the Apple Watch. Let's talk about performance. Now the Series 7 overall performs amazingly well with no lag, app crashes or glitches, just smooth operations. Still, some apps could load a little bit faster. Uh, I'm thinking about Mill in particular, which does take a few seconds to refresh my inbox. Now, is this a long time? Absolutely not. But if it takes longer than the time it takes for me to reach for my phone, take it out of my pocket and check that same app, it takes too long. Otherwise, the vast majority of the apps load incredibly fast and many launch instantly. I think this watch will perform fast for many years to come. But what about battery life? Well, when I first got my Series 7, uh, I could last through a whole day. And I'm pleased to say that this is just as true today after one year of daily use. I've seen no degradation in the battery at all. But how you set up your watch really matters. I can get anywhere from seven to 45 hours of battery life. For more information on this, be sure to check out my Apple Watch Series 7 guide, which I'll leave linked in the description. For my typical use, I end the day with around 35% remaining, uh, and then I charge it in the morning whilst I get ready for the day. And in that 30 to 45 uh, minute period, it can charge roughly from say 20 to 25% up to around 90%, which is more than enough to get me through the full day. And this is where the fast charging on the Series 7 comes in particularly handy. I often get asked by people uh, interested in the Apple Watch, what do you actually use it for? Well, for me, it's not about one standout feature, but rather it's a collection of finer features that come together to make life easier and save me time. And this is what makes the Apple Watch worth having for me. I'm gonna go over the top three features that I use most on a daily basis. First is notifications. I love getting notifications right on the wrist. Uh, the haptic feedback on the watch is great as it is definitely noticeable, but also silent. So it won't distract or disrupt those around you. And then when a notification comes in, you can preview it. Uh, if say it's a reminder, you can mark it as complete. You can read a message or even respond to a message using the built-in keyboard that is exclusive to the Series 7. Now, at first this may look super small uh, and that's because it is, but you can actually use it. And over time, I found myself to easily be able to respond with a line or two to a message all from the watch without having to get my phone. Up next is Siri. Now Siri is great, uh, but especially on the watch because it is so accessible and easy to use. Now, oftentimes I use Siri to set a reminder or to mark down an idea, which typically occurs whilst I'm in another task, say I'm going to or from somewhere, or I'm in the middle of editing a video. If I say, come up with a quick video idea, I can simply say, hey Siri, remind me tonight at 7 p.m. to brainstorm video idea about Apple Watch Series 7 versus Apple Watch Series 8 comparison video. It will then save that reminder and I don't have to worry about forgetting that idea. Super easy and instantaneous. Siri is also great for other things like doing math calculations, uh, asking for the temperature or currency conversions. And then finally, number three is a section that I'm gonna call finer things, which are just a few really small features, but again, together create that big impact. The Apple Watch will automatically unlock my Mac when I am near it. I also love to use Apple Pay. Here in London, uh, I use it for my morning coffee, for public transportation, and even buying groceries. And then whilst listening to music, I can use my Apple Watch to quickly change tracks and listening volume. A great thing about the Series 7 is it has that always on display, which means I can subtly check the time without having to turn my wrist like this uh, in that boring meeting. 
And then lastly is the incredible range of customization. From watch faces to bands to cases, you can really customize the watch and make it your own to suit any occasion or outfit. I could go on, but these are some of my favorite features of the Apple Watch Series 7. So after one year of daily use, is the Apple Watch Series 7 still worth buying? I think absolutely. The Apple Watch Series 7 offers the best Apple Watch experience yet. Yes, the Series 8 is just around the corner, but that doesn't change how good the Series 7 is and all of the great features that it offers today as well as for many years to come. Not to mention, with the Series 8 coming out, you'll probably find the Series 7 for a lower price, getting even better value for this fantastic watch. Just make sure to get some protection. Use code DION for 20% off at Rhino Shield for the first week and 10% after. Links in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I have lots more Apple Watch content coming very soon. Uh, be sure to let me know if you have any questions, whether it be about the Series 7 or about the upcoming Series 8. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.